little bit, yeah. Get him out of the way early, I guess. Um, JB actually re- made a really nice play on the bunt. That was a good bunt and put it in a tough spot. Um, you know, then added to more. But, yeah, we can do a little bit better catching the ball-wise. I like that we came down. And it seemed like, obviously, their, their starting pitcher really – uh, worked through us pretty good, but then you know we got some some guys on base, maybe with some errors, th- some of their errors and some of our hits. It seems like we were uh, kept wanting to tack on. Archer uh, looks like he threw quite right a few changeups. Yeah, uh, he was talking about also he felt like he was a little bit quicker to the plate. Yep, he was quicker to the plate, and the changeup is you know a little bit of a point of emphasis for him to work on. Uh, he looked good. His his second inning, you know, he started levering the leveraging the ball down a little bit better, but um, I think he felt should have felt really good about the way the ball was coming out of his hand. I mean, I saw ninety five, six, and sevens. He was letting it go. And he, I don't know if you felt this way. He hit a couple of guys in the dugout that they were having trouble telling the difference between this changeup and the slider, which he seemed to do a good thing. Um. Well, I no, I could tell which which was which, uh, but probably more on the hitter's reaction to him. Those lefties that kind of take him down and in and stuff. You think of Dominguez for his first out? Good, you know, I, I, he he looked good. There's more in the tank because I've seen him throw. So for for him to just coast at 94 miles an hour, that's 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 pretty good. <laughs> I was excited to see him and JB get out there, and uh, you know, obviously JB got his pitches in, got some, got his working. You never know the fine line between that first outing. Do you want action for the guy or not? I mean, it does allow them to get their pitches in, but you also want them to, you know, you don't want them overdoing anything early on. Hey, what about Elmore? I know you talked before about Ma- you might see in the mix for that. Yeah. Play play. A pretty good plays. Really nice plays. Uh, him and Cabby both did a tremendous job up the middle today. Um, Jake made a uh, the play across the bag, and then then the bullet that he caught kind of in his back pocket, nice play. Jake's an interesting player, man. He gives you a good at bat, uh, and he can play everywhere. I mean, we're, we're going to get him out in the outfield here soon, um, so that just adds to his versatility. Helps us. Corey continues to hit for you. Yeah, yeah. Him and Joey Butler seem like they are. They're mid-season locked in. You just went to the pre-exaggerated shift in the side monitor. Yeah, that was basically on uh, just past reports of him kn- knowing him a little bit. I mean, we're gonna we probably are not shifting as much as we normally will because we just don't know some of these guys. So we're asking Charlie and then going back in Foe's memory, memory bank, mine, whoever that knows the guy, adding bits and pieces. And we were talking about Dominic Brown. As a shift guy or not, we were kind of going back and forth on it. So you'll be, I mean, I don't want to compare to what they did here necessarily in the past, but you'll, you'll be fairly aggressive. We'll be very aggressive, yeah, shifting and, and you know, w- you know, with reason behind it, obviously. We took away a couple hits today with the shift. The bullet the cabby caught, the line drive, and then another ground ball cabby got. Anything else? What's that? Sheltie stole it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>